Yo, 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 what is up, fuckers? Welcome back to another trailer reaction with the Pillar Thriller hosts. I'm Romo. I'm Justin. If you haven't, if you're new to our channel, we cover all things horror, whether that's a review, trailer reactions, or just anything that's coming out, whatever. We'll talk about it all. We'll talk about it all. So, tonight we're going to be doing a trailer reaction to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the latest Texas Chainsaw Massacre trailer. That'll be coming out on Netflix. Yes. And do we have a date on when this is coming out? Um, uh, I'm not sure. Let me ch let me check real quick. Because um, obviously there is a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. Um, so it's very interesting that this is kind of taking the Halloween 2018 approach. Shout that out to Marlowe. He's having his own, you know. Oh, yeah. The fan film. Oh, yeah. Or Steve Marlowe. Steve Marlowe. Got his Steve fan Marlo. film coming out. Yes. Um, so, like, there's a lot of... People that love the 1974 film, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, and then the sequels have their own differences to the first film. And some people like them, some people don't. And it's understandable. Um, but basically, this is taking the approach of Halloween 2018. Like, this is supposed to be 40 or so years after, Later. yeah, after the first film. Which is a fire concept, I think. Yeah. So... I, I can't help but think, like, all right, I understand that they're trying to capitalize on how they did Michael Myers, but it's okay. As long as it gives us a new movie um, and something to look forward to, that's another horror movie. Um, I'm also curious how brutal this is going to be since it's on Netflix. Um, I know Fear Street got pretty brutal at times. <laughs> it um, shows some fucked up shit. So you never know with, like, a Netflix um, streamed movie like this, but I, uh, I have some excitement around this just in the fact that how they're approaching it. Um, and like they're just bringing Leatherface back. So how can you not be excited about that? My uh, my reaction to this trailer, by the way, will be completely natural. Yep. This is my first time watching this. Yep. And I just looked it up. It comes out February 18th, which is in like less Huge. than two weeks. Huge. So got something to watch and something to look forward to. Something to cover later. Yep. So I've seen this trailer. Um, I took I very late at night and saw it come out on Reddit. And I'll, or I saw someone post about it on Reddit and basically was like, hey, well, I'm going to send it to Justin. He didn't watch it, which is good. Justin does better than I do about genuine reactions to this. I've at least usually seen some of these once, but I always catch new stuff on other watches. Without further ado, our trailer reaction to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's see what we got. A Netflix production. Right off the bat. Is that a beehive? Oh, no, in the window? No, it's part of the part of flowers. She looks like Margot Robbie. She does. She did, actually. Oh. Is that the classic mask? I can't tell if he was wearing someone's face or so not. So yeah. Harlow is a ghost town. We have a vision for this place. All it needs is young blood. So they're reviving this old town? This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere. Somewhere safe. I like that they got the old hippie look to them. Mm -hmm. You should see this. Oh, it's the house. The Sawyer house. What are you doing in our house? You really shouldn't be here. Family always creeps me out. Yep. Yeah. Oh, jeez. There it is. This is hard, Steve. There it is. I'm afraid your old breath back. So she's going to be like the Lori in this one. 15 yeah. years I've been waiting for this night. Yep. Oh, buddy. Just to see him again. Oh, this is very Halloween like. Yeah, very much like 20 years. Very Halloween. Got a lot of blood, though. Oh, shoot. Got blood all over this man. He does look much older. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna let him kill you. Fear no evil. Fear no evil. Okay. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Try to think you canceled. Oh. Oh. There's Rose's man up. See, so they're not. So they're not playing. Nah. 
And uh, story, come on, bro. An story by Fidi Alvarez too. Evil Dead, Don't Breathe. An axe to the head in a trailer. Oh yeah, that and the they didn't show and all the chainsaw stuff, but that's that. wild. Ooh. How are you gonna show an axe to the head in a trailer and a chainsaw? Like that lifted them up to the yeah. And what it tells me is if they're showing that, it means there's You're much more brutal you. kills. Much more brutal kills in this movie than just those. Yeah, so... Yeah. This is... I mean, it looks fine. I just... It reminded me a lot of, it, too much of Halloween kills. It, it did feel just like Halloween 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, or like, Halloween kills. But Halloween, yeah. Yeah, when it was uh, like him coming back after X amount of years mm -hmm. or all this stuff and someone being waiting for him all these just years. completely copied the idea. Yeah, so. maybe, they, maybe they can make it their own, but that does... I saw I saw a lot of similarities in what and how the story was set up. Yeah, uh, you know I'm a, I I mean I'm gonna watch it. It looks dope. It looks cool. It looks cool. Like it's yeah. just I'm gonna have to suspend disbelief though that like a group of kids would just show up at a town that's abandoned and yeah. try to make like a new town. That's odd. Like yeah. that's uh, that's weird. But who knows? Because it could be a completely different storyline. Like it, we don't know. It's just a trailer. That's what it seems like. It they want to like, like fresh, what... fresh start for people yeah, yeah. in this new town. It's abandoned. So I mean, we'll we'll see, right? Uh, February eighteenth. I mean, it looks cool. I'm excited. Like this is like, yeah, it's a classic. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's iconic. Yeah, well, I mean, story by um, Bidi Alvarez. Like at least we can trust him because he did the Evil Dead remake and he did Don't Breathe, which is a very good original story. Mm -hmm. So maybe he's got some tricks up his sleeve. I like it. I mean, like. He does look so much older, Leatherface. Mm -hmm. And I, obviously that's the reason. It's because it's several years later, but yeah. I'm glad that they committed to that and so didn't just make him look like years. Leatherface. Yeah, it's, it's something to look forward to, at least. Like, it's weird. To, it's a time we usually don't get horror movies, right? In that February time frame. You usually don't get stuff like that. In no. that time frame. Around Valentine's Day and stuff. People usually trying to do the rom-coms and doing all that stuff. If this is February 18th... It is. I think Black Phone is also February 18th. Now, that would be cool. This is February 18th for a release. Um, let's see. I have my phone handy. I don't know if that would be cool. Like, Why would it not be? What would they, I mean, they're both released on the same day? They're competing. Uh, Black Phone may have gotten pushed back, Justin. What? It is being released in June. Delayed, yes. Delayed June 2022. Oh, that sucks. Oh, you got something to look forward to. Yeah, <laughs> what? <later. laughs> Bro. You would want, but if they were released on the same day, that'd be dope. They'd be competing. But then you would, it's not smart from a box office standpoint, because then you're just splitting, like, your yeah. horror viewership, probably. I was, like, I think, I mean, nothing against Texas Chainsaw. I was way more looking forward to Black Phone than I was, like. Oh, yeah, because Ethan Hawke is fantastic. Yeah. And, and just the storyline, the guy from uh, Sinister is directing oh, that one. That yeah. was supposed to come out yesterday. It's supposed to come out ago. September 4th. Fe Dang. February 4th. February 4th. I'm looking at the wrong days. Um, but yes, that is wild. So I'm sorry, Fuck. I'm sorry, Justin. You have to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Netflix in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's cool. Like, that's dope. People I mean, are going to watch that because it's on Netflix and it's a click away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan, you're going to like it. Um, I, I, well, I shouldn't say you're going to like it. You're going to watch it. Yeah, yeah, out you of don't curiosity. Know. You may like it, you may not. We may like it, we may not. Um, so I'm really curious to see. A lot of possibilities. Here, How right? that turns out, because everything I gathered from that didn't give us too much, except I did love the end scene where he was like trying to think you can get canceled, bro, because that's so 2022. <laughs> you do anything, 2021, 2022, whatever, you do anything and they're trying to cancel you, try to cancel Leatherface. Cancel culture. You can't cancel Leatherface. No. Leatherface is going to kill you <laughs> no matter what. Color, race, yeah, gender, care. whatever you are. Whatever. He's going to kill you. So. As long as you, well, Yeah. But he's, he's sympathetic in the early films. He doesn't look very sympathetic here. No, nah, he looks brutal. So. Yeah. And which is great, because, like, you know, in Halloween yeah. Kills, that was, like, the most brutal I've ever seen Michael yeah. Myers. So. One thing that's fantastic about the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre is, like, how much the family, how grimy it looked and how much the family played into it. Mm -hmm. I We did see the older woman in this one, so I'm curious to see how much of the family is involved, because we didn't see much of a family of Leatherface. I know it's older, but... You'd think somebody was still around, but who knows? I don't know what what approach they're taking. Um, and like Netflix does very straightforward production. Netflix films look a certain way, mm -hmm. so we're not going to get that gritty, grimy feel in this one. So if they're able to do it with their like high budget production, we'll see. 
Um, but the old one feeling like almost a snuff film, like in that grainy type deal, that's what made it awesome, yep. in my opinion. So I'm curious to see how this translates in 2022, well, 40, yeah, yeah, yeah. almost 40 years, fuck, almost 50 years Is after the original one. It's it's an exciting time, but like, I mean, the fact that they showed an axe to the head here, like that, just, that's got you going. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. got you real I love wound that up. Shit. Like, I love real that wound shit. up. You know, because it's crazy. Like, you know, whenever people talked about Halloween Kills, uh, a lot of people didn't like it, but I loved it because of like how how fucking brutal like yeah. Michael Myers well, was. Leatherface has always had much more bloody and brutal kills than Michael yeah. Myers has. So, and like this is, I the only thing I hope. Is that they didn't show too much in this trailer for us to... I think they cut away from enough, yeah. you know? I think they cut away from um, enough stuff, but they also just gave you kind of... If you read a synopsis on this film, they pretty much just showed that. And then the, the bus scene looked really cool at the end. Yeah. Because it looks like he's just going to massacre a whole bunch of people on the bus. Which I had to guess. Because yeah. well, well, that's terrifying, right? If a killer comes onto a bus, like, where are you going? Yeah. You're trying to jump out a window? The fuck are you... Well, first of all, why are you... Just stand you there. Yeah, you just took your phone out. Yeah, but that's uh, what people do these days. I, yo, I would record as I'm running. Get the fuck out of the house. That's back still of the house. a problem. I would just run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, why do I gotta turn my phone on? Yeah, yeah. My phone's either with me or not. I ain't trying to get killed out here. I mean, you gotta show people that, like, yo, this is come but, help me. But bro. that's the issue. People just stream and forget to and run. And Leatherface is like, what y'all doing here? I'm gonna turn y'all into a missing poster. Yeah, like, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, yeah. this this does look like a good film yeah. um, from. Just a cinematography standpoint, and we're getting Leatherface back. So something to be excited about in general, just with Leatherface coming back to the big screen, um, whether it be the 50-inch you have in your living room, the 60-inch you got in your bedroom, whatever you want. Whatever. Uh, so we we also be doing a disservice to our friend Steve Marlowe if we didn't go ahead and say uh, be on the lookout for updates on the Sawyer Massacre. Um, he also has his YouTube page that has updates and also his own running content. Um, yeah. He was one of the first. I think he was one of after, our first guests. He was the second guest we had after Heather. Yeah. Um, he really did a great job of helping us get on the map. So we wanted to plug him here. Anytime we're out. covering anything Texas Chainsaw Massacre, we're going to plug our dude, Steve. So thank you, Steve, and everyone. Go check out his stuff if you haven't. Much appreciated, man. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm excited for this. So. Like, we'll see how this goes. You know, everything's different. And, um, yeah. So that's our trailer reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hit that like button. Share, subscribe. All that shit. As always, man, peace and love. See ya.